Good evening, everybody. Kemerell Eppinger here with First Coast News with another update for you uh, from the uh, south side. Again, we're at the location right off of uh, Phillips Highway uh, where police uh, have been searching through a dumpster. And we know that dumpster was actually uh, removed from a property or apartment complex where uh, Taylor Williams and her mother used to live before uh, they lit, moved to the Brentwood area. Now, our update for you is that just within the past five uh, to ten minutes, uh, we've been seeing uh, multiple uh, JSO uh, police cruisers marked in uh, unmarked cars, um, as well as a JSO pickup truck um, leave here uh, from this location. Uh, we know that they've been here since about 5.30, and uh, it, it, it appears uh, that they've uh, wrapped up um, their investigation here um, at this site. Again, this is uh, right off of uh, Phillips Highway on the south side. This is at uh, Superior Enterprise. This is a towing uh, company business. Um, and right behind this uh, business, there's a huge lot. And uh, that's where uh, police brought a dumpster uh, from the uh, former uh, property where uh, Taylor Williams and her mother lived. Uh, this is called Paradise Apartments. Uh, that's where that dumpster was removed from and taken here. And when, as we mentioned earlier, police, uh, they had been uh, looking through that dumpster um, all evening evening uh, for about uh, five, uh, four hours, um, just looking for any clues um, leading that would lead to a little Taylor uh, Williams. Uh, we know that this uh, search was all part of a massive or thorough investigation into finding uh, little Taylor, according to JSO. Now, we're still working on trying to find out um, if uh, police were able to find any uh, clues or any leads uh, with this search here at this location. Once we get that information, we'll be sure uh, to pass it along to you. But for now, reporting from the south side, Kemra Leffinger, First Coast News on your side.